Hi all, welcome back. In the earlier session, we have seen how to create an image from an already existing operating system. Now we will see how to configure node 2 for Cassandra. Let's go ahead and open VMware Workstation Player. In the earlier sessions, we have created node 3, configured the Cassandra install Java and then we have ran the Cassandra server and also we have connected to the Cassandra database using SQL command line. And thereafter we have created the image of node 3 and then now we are going to configure this new image with the IP and the ML configurations. To avoid the confusion, let's rename these nodes. The old node which is already configured, let's keep it node 1. And the new node which we have created the image, let's make node 2. Okay, alright. Now let's open the new node, node 2. This is the one where we have to change the IP address and the YAML configurations. We will be using the same username password which we have used for the old OS. If you remember in the earlier OS I have given a static IP of 143. Now we have taken the same operating system as a copy. We should be having the same IP here as well. Let us check the IP address. So the same it is 143. Now to avoid any conflicts we need to change this IP address. We know how to change the IP address in the earlier videos we have seen that. Let's go ahead and change and also you know that in order to change the IP address you should run as root. So the password is the same as earlier operating system and then we have to go to etc sysconfig and then network scripts and then ifcfg followed by your service name. The only thing you have to change is the three letters 143 to whatever the IP address you need. I want to change it to 144 and save it. Now I need to restart the network service. So that's it. I have config. The IP is changed now. Let me connect to this via mobile XTERM. I have connected to 144 now. If I see here, I see the Cassandra setup. Let me go to Cassandra and go to YAML file conf slash Cassandra dot YAML. Here the cluster name remains same test. The only thing I need to change is the listen address and the RPC address. Let's search for it. L listen. So I have the listen address, RPC address here. It should be 144. Let's check for 202.143. So this is the listen address. Let me change this. And this is it save this Cassandra YAML file. Now we are ready to start the Cassandra node. When we start the both nodes, this 144 should listen to the seed node 143 and both should join into a single cluster. Now we will be changing the host name. For host name change, we need to do this as a root. Let's log in as a root. Now change in the etc. We have host name. This is the host name for the old operating system from where we have extracted the image. Let me make it one and save it. That's all for today's session. In the next session, we will be 
comparing the both yaml files and bring up the both the servers and then we will ensure that both nodes join single cluster till then bye bye thank you for watching